if you are an engineer or maybe pursuing engineering then i'm pretty sure that you will hear this term more and more in upcoming time so what is this term bim what do we understand by bim it's a software it's a designation what exactly it is let's take a deeper look into this bim is nothing but building information modeling and when we say building information modeling that means a single platform where all the services in a building can be modeled and managed it is a highly collaborative process that allow multiple stakeholders and aec which is architecture engineering and construction professionals to collaborate on the planning design and construction of a building within one 3d model so in simple terms bim is nothing but an abbreviation that is used to make better understanding about 3d modeling world so how this term came in in the past blueprints and drawings were used to express information about a particular building this 2d approach made it very difficult to visualize dimensions and requirements next came cad computer aided design which helped drafters see the benefit of plans in digital environment later on CAD turned into 3D which brought more realistic visuals to blueprints. Now BIM is the standard but it's more than just a 3D model. This was started when 3D software like Revit introduced the capability of modeling different services in a single model for a building. With this advancement in the software we can now be able to model structure elements like wall, column, beams along with other services like pipe, electrical fittings, special equipments and many more things. We are now able to exactly place all the elements of building in a single model. We can see electrical fittings. We can model them and we can do class detection amongst them so this kind of capability in a software brought this term up which is called building information modeling the interesting part is that now other softwares like tecla structure is also very efficient in handling different services in a single model in tecla structures we can visualize manage do class checking and so on between all the services involved in a building so we can say that tecla structure is capable of doing bim and there are other softwares who are capable of doing same now it's very simple to understand about different posts and designations also. When we see somewhere which says BIM Modeler Tecla or BIM Modeler Revit, that means that person has ability to understand and work in a model which have all the different services for a building. If you are a structural engineer and you have understanding of other services in a building and know how these services will affect in your structure. For example, you know that a particular pipe will come here. So I need to make some kind of opening in wall and you do it according to the visible pipe in the model. So this kind of understanding automatically makes you a BIM modeler or BIM engineer. Here I referred a structural engineer, but this is common to all other engineers also. I hope you now understand better about this term BIM and can relate with your doubts. And if you have anything to discuss or talk about, please let me know in the comment section. See you next time. Till then, take care. Bye bye.